Hello, Mar Miranda with Wargamer Girl here, here at the Dark Moon Fair at BlizzCon. Super excited. I'm hoping to catch in some games of whack and all and maybe some strider racing. But let's take a look at what we've got going on around here. BlizzCon 2017. 30,000 people in attendance for two days, packed full of early access demos, con exclusive merchandise, and of course, cosplay. People stood in line starting about 7 a.m. to be able to get in early to the opening ceremony at 11. I have to admit, the wait was worth it for all the new information about the changes that were coming. StarCraft II is becoming free to play. There are two new characters coming to Heroes of the Storm, uh, Alex Draza and uh, Hanzo, a new player expansion for Hearthstone, which includes a new single player mode. And then the really big news for people was Overwatch and World of Warcraft. I was able to demo the new character Moira coming to Overwatch. Admittedly, I'd never played Overwatch before, so I did terrible but I'm sure she's a good character all the same. The news for World of Warcraft really got me excited. They finally announced classic servers. They didn't say when, we just know it's going to happen. I played on and off since vanilla, so the idea of going back to a simpler time definitely appeals to me. Hopefully they can strike the right balance between bringing back the best of WoW and keeping away the problems of people ninja looting items and stuff. WoW is also getting a new expansion called Battle for Azeroth. They're really embracing the Horde versus Alliance story again, which was pretty much always the basis of WoW anyway. Will this be the last expansion? We'll see. For those of you playing WoW now, the next patch is going to include the ability to toggle PvP on or off. I know Star Wars Galaxy did this in the past, so we'll see how it affects open world PvP. Hopefully the world can stay live rather than just seeing large Zerg on Zerg combat. I did get to visit the Dark Moon Fair, take a look around, and even got my face painted. One of the cool things about how BlizzCon ran their event this year is that while there are several panels you can attend, they're all recorded live and updated to the BlizzCon virtual ticket website. So if you want to get in a match with your friends on Hero of the Storm, but you also want to see the panel on boss design, you can play to your heart's content while knowing that you're not missing anything. I'm actually still going through the virtual ticket content myself. I know esports has been a thing for a while, but BlizzCon was actually my first experience in watching full-on esports. They made a f they made some incredible things. They made a full Overwatch arena, and the Hearthstone um, arena was really cool looking. The whole experience was a lot more exciting than I thought it would be, to tell you the truth. I think some of the games fared better than others though, like World of Warcraft arenas were more confusing to watch than, say, Heroes of the Storm games, and Heroes of the Storm actually makes a pretty fun looking esport. A big highlight for me as a wargamer was seeing the massive Lordaeron diorama. Blizzard 3D printed 11,000 max eye level characters from attendees and some employees to fill their massive battlefield. My character didn't make the cut, unfortunately, but I'd like to think she's supporting the Alliance in a more specialized and important way. The diorama won the Guinness World Record for largest video game diorama. Saturday night closed out with Muse playing in the main hall, but since this is a convention of gamers, the lines to play games stayed full even as Muse played live from the other room. That's not to say the main hall didn't have plenty of people though. I even got to meet Jessica Negri for a moment. Speaking of cosplay, there were hundreds of cosplayers wearing all of their favorite characters from Overwatch to Diablo to World of Warcraft. They all brought their A-game too. I didn't get as much footage as I had hoped I would, but I did manage to snag a few interviews. Check those out. All right, I'm gonna ask here what everybody is now. So, what are you for BlizzCon? I am the female necromancer from Diablo 3. Very sweet. And you, man? I am Chromie from Heroes of the Storm. Of course. And I'm Medivh from Hearthstone. Of course. Very nice. So now I understand you made all of, you made all of these costumes, right? Yes, I did. Okay. What what uh, what went into these this this makeup? Like, what's the time turnaround and some of the materials? So, uh, Cass's costume, the necromancer, took roughly about 25 hours um, from patterning to building the costumes to assembling all the pieces. Um, a lot of it is sewing, but we also have some resin cast pieces and some leather working in these. That's right, we need to get 
got a little shot of this awesome belt buckle here that we saw an actual um, like tutorial of how it was made. Super cool looking. Now, were you painting these pieces as well? Uh, no. So the the cast pieces on Cass's armor are actually done by our creative director at Henchman Studios, uh, Jordan, and he did both the molding and the casting and the painting. Very cool. Very cool. Are you having a good time at BlizzCon? We love it. It's our first BlizzCon for all of us. Yeah. So we're really excited. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So what was the biggest news? What did you like the most about the announcements and everything? Um. Well, actually, Moira from Overwatch. Our team actually built the official costume for Moira. So we we were really, really excited to see her come out into the world and everybody's reactions to her. Oh my gosh. Oh, same for you? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And same for you, Moira? Uh, I really like the Overwatch World Cup and watching the eSports e stuff. But, but what about WoW, getting the classic server? <laughs> I mean, his favorite ice cream is uh, is cookies and cream, so I don't know how he feels about vanilla. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So which, uh, which studio are you guys with again? We're with Henchman Studios. We're located out of Toronto in Canada. Guys, nice. what's your website? Uh, we are henchmanprops.com. Awesome, awesome. Awesome show. Thank you guys so much. You're amazing looking. Thank you. All right, I found Nat Pagel here at uh, at BlizzCon. He was he was fishing outside in the fountain. Does, does this count as poaching? Uh, not really. No, there, that's open mar open open waters. There isn't technically a rule against fishing in, in the, the fountains. fountains. There's, yeah, there's okay. no knife is needed in a fountain. Have you have you caught anything? I caught I caught one earlier. I caught this one here uh, this morning. <laughs> Very nice, very nice. Now, uh, this is a costume that you made for for this event. Uh, is this a, a new one? Um, yeah, we made this. Uh, this is going to be our casual cosplay. Normally, I do big monsters. Yeah. And this is my casual version of a cosplay. Uh, I don't know. I don't know casual, obviously. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he looks crazy. How, so, what went into making this? Um, it, it took a week. My my fiance made it. Um, it's made out of pink foam, uh, pool noodle, and a PVC pipe, basically. Oh wow! Um, it looks wooden. Oh uh, yeah, it, it's made to make liquid bone, you know. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's really. And then we cool. have tap lights in here, so they light up, and then. Uh, uh, it's still too light out, huh? Yeah. Ah, uh, dang it. <laughs> Man, he looks really, really cool. What about the rest of the outfit? Um, we made this in a couple weeks. Uh, it's a mixture of his Hearthstone card and his World of Warcraft um, in-game avatar. Yeah. Um, we pulled like this from this in-game, and then the, the, the rest of it's oh. mostly his, his Hearthstone card. <laughs> I love the fish. That's a really yeah. good touch. Oh, and his drink. Yeah, we had to have a drink because, you know, Nat is known for, like, fishing and beer. <laughs> Now this this is not your first BlizzCon, right? No, this is my tenth BlizzCon. Uh, I've cosplayed four times and been here crazy six other times. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's crazy. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, we're so glad that you came here. Thank Did you have a favorite announcement while you were here at BlizzCon? Um, I was really expect uh, really looking forward to the WoW expansion, but I didn't get to see it because of my costume, so I'm waiting to get that at home. But uh, the Overwatch, I'm really excited about that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's been the big one. So yeah. awesome! Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. You look great. Thank you. Uh, all right, so you are here today playing a Diablo character. Which character? I am the Demon Hunter from Diablo 3. Very nice, and you are? I'm also the, from Diablo wow. <laughs> Let me try that again. Oh my god. I'm uh, <laughs> the Crusader from Diablo 3. Very nice. Is this your favorite Blizzard game, or are you just trying a different thing this year? Not my favorite. I play a lot of World of Warcraft and Overwatch, but I have started playing Diablo 3, and I just love this armor set. So It is really cool. Like, yeah. yeah, I'm also new to Diablo 3, but I like big armor, so... You got to get your big shoulder pads in? You know, Warcraft does that too for you. Yeah, I know, but I kind of like the setting and stuff in Diablo. That's totally fair. All right, tell me a little bit about what went into your outfits. Um, some sweat, some tears, a little bit of blood. Uh, no. I've got spin on mine, actually. Oh, yeah, there you go. Spin. Uh, quick seal. Oh, quick seal? Yeah. Spin. Okay, excellent, excellent. So, the materials then, we've got Warbla and EVA? Yeah, Warbla, Craft Foam, and uh, EVA is in my prop, but yeah. Very nice, can, can we get a little twirl? <laughs> very, very cool. Okay, I love the way those shoulders come together. <laughs> now, uh, same with you, right? The EVA, yeah. Craft EVA, Foam? EVA, Craft Foam, Warbla. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Is it comfortable? For a while. <laughs> it gets kind of heavy on the like collarbone area. How long have you been in costume? Uh, since like 12.45 or so. So what are we at? Like four hours? Yeah, five hours of it? Ah! 
Okay, give it a little twirl for the camera so you can see all your awesome armor. Now, did you also sew your tabard? Uh, I had a friend do that actually because I don't have a sewing machine. <laughs> that's fair. That's what cosplay is about bringing the community together. Everybody with the skills can come together with it. Now, which uh, what's your favorite aspect of BlizzCon? Is this your first BlizzCon? Have you been here before? This is our first BlizzCon. Um, yeah, I mean, I just really like the community. Just having a bunch of people who love the same thing is really cool to be around. Yeah. The announcements were awesome. Did you have a favorite announcement? Honestly, World of Warcraft got me the most hype. Like hearing about the vanilla servers coming right. in. And oh my gosh, like, right? That cinematic was gorgeous. Like I, I was tearing up a little bit and I was like, no, no, don't. You can't do this. Yeah. It's but. okay, we all did a little bit. <laughs> Your first BlizzCon as well? Yeah, it's also my first BlizzCon. Very nice, very nice. Did you have a favorite announcement? Uh, I actually do not really play WoW that much, but the vanilla WoW announcement was pretty exciting for me too. But I love Overwatch, so new map, new character. So excited, new cinematic, yes! <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, thank you, ladies. It's great. I'm so glad that you were here at this BlizzCon. Thank you. Yeah, it was nice to meet you. All right. Did, did you guys represent any company, by the way? Or did you, uh, do you have a website or anything you want to plug? I have an Instagram account. Did That's you want to plug it? it? Sure. What's your Instagram? Mordali Cosplay. <laughs> How do you spell that? If you can spell that. <laughs> M-O-R-D-A-L-I. And then just cosplay. Cosplay. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> well, thank you very much. You guys are great. Yeah. Well, that's my recap of BlizzCon. I hope you enjoyed it. Have you been to any BlizzCon events, either this year or in years prior? If so, what were your highlights? Or what were the highlights for any con you've been to, for that matter? Thank you for watching. Bye.